Yeah, quick fast. Let's get let's get right through it. Uh, Daryl Callaway. Daryl Callaway. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Um, I came across his brother. There's a lot of people going in on his brother, especially in the conscious community. Whenever you yeah, do your proper diagnosis of, of this uh, quagmire, this situation, whenever brothers go in on a, a certain brother, this brother must be dropping some dimes and hitting some and hitting some truths. And it seems like he is. Let me tell you something. This guy got the proof of portfolio. That's why I respect him. He got he does extensive extensive research on his subject topics when it comes to us as black folks living in his paradigm, which is America. You know, this is my way of representing the brother on his endeavors. And I wish many more triumphs and victories for him. Because he's becoming a lightning bolt in the YouTube Negro sector when it comes to the youngins. And I and I pride this man and I pay homage to this brother simply because he's a young young brother. He's not, you know, he's not old in age and he's youthful and he's doing what he's supposed to do and he's preserving the true history, uncut history. We've been taught a lot of lies, folks, and he's trying to bring he's and he's trying to rewrite history in a truthful way. And I and all you know, I pray for this guy, the angels and every all the angel, angelic host finds the most high and the angels protect this man, put the armor of spirituality, spirituality around this man. Because I know it's gonna be repercussions and retaliation because a lot of brothers are pissed off and that's sad. Those are the gatekeepers. Satanic gatekeepers. Demonic, satanic, negro gatekeepers that's trying to hold this brother back. Because a lot of these guys in this unconscious community, not consciousness, unconscious, this unconscious community, they want to reap the benefits off the, they want to be blood sucker, suckers off the poor, the gullible, the poor, the gullible, and the unintelligent. Not the intelligent. Those are the ones, those are the ones that become gullible because they don't do their own individual research on black history. So they woo, they woo these people with the Egyptology and all this philosophy, the ancient Kemet knowledge, all, all these lectures and all this to get money. It's about money. It's not about helping the people. It's not about helping the grassroots. It's about keeping us at a certain level and keeping us dumbed down. See, this brother is bringing stuff that will enlighten us to the truth so we can move on to greater and greater pastors and make money and be successful and maneuver in this country and know who the really, you know, know who our true enemies are. And he's bringing it to the table. And you got this other faction, which is this, uh, these, these unconscious brothers, this satanic community of brothers and ancient, you know, and brothers and ancient fraternities up until now being the buffers between the truth and the supremacy that has been bestowed on the majority of black folks. They are the buffers. They, the, you know, they stand between white supremacy and whatever, per, you know, supremacy you want to call it. They stand between the truth seekers and, and they play, you know, they play the middleman and they run back when they see, you know, when they uh, find out brothers like us you know, bringing truth to the table, they go back and tell the establishment because that's how they get paid. They working for these secret agencies, this, these counter tell pro negroes, these dry snitches of of the hood. They ain't keeping it real. They keeping it unreal. You know what I'm saying? And they and they ganging up on this one brother. So you know it's something going on. The proof is right there. They ganging up on one brother. So this brother must be powerful. His research must be genuine. His research must be turning over tables, turning over lies, untruths. He putting these dudes on blast. He putting their whole platform on blast. And that's what they pissed off about. And they're and they afraid he's going to take the booty, the lion's share. I'd rather him get the money than, than people feeding us untruths and, and perverting and pimping the culture just to, just to make their coffers stock with money and leave and leave the you know the poor neighborhoods and the ones that need to be helped still in bondage and poverty. I always say this before I end this: if the knowledge can't help you as an individual, if the knowledge can't help you for its history, and up until now, if the knowledge can't help you be successful, and the motivation of the knowledge of the people who present this stuff and bring it to the table, if it can't help you get out of poverty, it can't help you get off of drugs, if it can't help you 
hey, it's not even worth listening to. And this brother, he's worth listening to because he's bringing something down the trough that is that is providing us with a blueprint to success. If you dismantle his 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 arguments and his debates and and his documentaries and stuff, if you deconstruct it for yourself and marinate it, marinate on it for yourselves, excuse me, you'll know that he's providing us with essential and serious knowledge so we can persevere and move on to higher heights as black folk in America. In order for us to break the mental slavery, in order for us to break the mental slavery, in order for us to break the mental slavery, we must know the truth, not fallacies, not no con games. We must know why are we still going through this bullshit and overcome it and be victorious over it. And this is one of the brothers that's trying to bring it down to Soulsville. So we need to support this guy's efforts, man. Okay? Because I sat back the whole day and was doing my investigation on social media. I said, who's this guy, Mr. Dale, Dale Calloway? Who's Mr. Calloway? Let's put it like that. Who's Mr. Calloway? Why are they, why are they so obsessed with this brother? Why are they going in on this brother? And I said, oh, I see why now. Any brother that, that rattled the cage of the conscious community and all these all these freelancers on YouTube that, 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 that can't stand them, it's something about this guy. You know it is. Or they wouldn't be paying him no mind. Salute. Salute, brother. You, you got some people on your side. I'm one of them. And with that, I'm out of here.